So what exactly do 3D artists do? You have interacted with a 3D artist's work if you play video games, watch movies, enjoy VR, shop online, play with robots, or own a Tesla. Most of the 3D work we interact with today is actually outside of entertainment. When you drive a Tesla, the dashboard will render the road, buildings, and cars around as 3D objects, which were likely made by a 3D artist. Uh, the roads, while not hand-modeled, are generated by a procedural pipeline created by artists. This is the same workflow that apps like Google Maps use. Nowadays, 3D is going beyond pixels on a monitor. For example, just a few days ago there was a drone festival in China where over 10,000 drones flew in the sky in formation, creating different objects, signs, and text. I guess this is the future of advertising. They can form any shape, morphing from one to another in a spectacular display. These shapes existed in 3D space, each drone acting as a vertex on a model. The only thing missing was edges and faces to make it an actual 3D model made out of drones. Before setting up something like this, these formations have to be plotted in a 3D application to determine where each drone should be placed. While a programmer could technically program this without using a 3D application, it's faster and easier to create the models and animate them in a 3D application than map the vertices to the drones. 3D also has a lot of military applications. Drone pilots can and do train inside simulations, flying through buildings and obstacles, which are created using game-like environments. 3D is also changing the world of 3D printing. From printing prosthetic limbs to creating custom tools, 3D artists are behind the designs. Did you know that NASA even has a 3D printer on the International Space Station? Astronauts can print tools and parts as needed, and many of these designs are created by 3D artists back on Earth. It's poetic, designing on Earth, printing in space. Then there's VR and AR, where 3D plays a massive role. Virtual reality environments, augmented reality applications, and interactive experiences are all crafted by 3D artists. Even online shops are using 3D renders of their products instead of actual photos, and some have gone a step further by incorporating 3D scans you can view from different angles, giving you a much better idea of what you're buying. Forensics also uses 3D to recreate scenarios. When a building collapses, for instance, 3D recreations are used to explore the possible causes. These visualizations help investigators understand what went wrong and how to prevent similar incidents in the future. A great example of this can be found on Kai Kostak's YouTube channel, where he uses a modified version of Blender to recreate the collapse of bridges and buildings. He also simulates car crashes with millions of polygons, showcasing realistic metal deformation and physics, demonstrating just how powerful 3D tools can be in forensic analysis. The 3D industry is vast and spread across almost every aspect of our lives. After all, we live in a 3D world. Most people, when they think of 3D, think of games and movies, but it's much bigger than that. Think about medicine, manufacturing, the military, architecture, engineering, forensics, electronics, advertising, the list goes on. If you're a 3D artist, don't limit yourself to one small niche like entertainment. Know that it's possible to branch out, even if it means starting from scratch. Structural engineers, for example, use 3D applications that, while different from Blender, share the same core principles. The way you navigate, the plugins, shading, and visualization, it's all very similar. So if you have a background in 3D, why not explore these other branches and see what's possible? For example, while you may need a degree to become an architect, creating beautiful renders for architects doesn't require one. You just take architectural drawings and turn them into stunning renders that everyone can appreciate. There is an entire industry and many companies dedicated to doing just that, visualizing buildings. Do you think architects model the cups, furniture, rugs, and plants in those renders? No, that's a 3D artist's job, often a junior 3D artist at that. This is exactly what I'm talking about. 3D art isn't a one-size-fits-all gig. There are a lot of different paths you can take. For example, as a character artist, you get to be a digital sculptor, creating heroes, villains, and every creature in between. These are the folks who bring your favorite video game and animated characters to life, sculpting them down to the tiniest detail to make them believable and engaging. Then, there's the role of an environment artist. These artists are responsible for designing the stunning worlds you explore in video games and movies. They create everything from eerie forests to futuristic cities, essentially building the playgrounds where stories unfold. If you're more interested in making things move, you might be drawn to being a 3D animator. After all, 
a model isn't much fun if it just sits there, right? Animators breathe life into these models that is making them walk, talk, or even dance the cha-cha. Or maybe you prefer showcasing products, then you might become a product visualizer. This involves creating beautiful 3D models of products like furniture, gadgets, and fashion items, which can be used for marketing or product design. It's about making things look so good that people can't wait to get their hands on them. For those with a passion for architecture, becoming an architectural visualizer could be the ideal path. These artists work closely with architects to create realistic images of buildings before they're built. Imagine being able to take a virtual tour of your new home before the first brick has been laid. That's what an architectural visualizer makes possible. And if you love flashy, dynamic visuals, then being a motion graphics artist might be your calling. This is the realm of title sequences, explainer videos, and even game trailers. Motion graphics artists use tools like Blender and Cinema 4D to create stunning visuals that make even the simplest animation pop. The career path of a 3D artist can be as varied as the art they create. Many start by studying art, animation, or graphic design. Others learn online with resources like YouTube tutorials or platforms like Udemy or Coursera. You might kick off your career working for a game studio, VFX company, or even as a freelancer. Some artists land gigs right away in big studios, while others build a portfolio by taking smaller freelance projects. But 3D art isn't just about games and movies. You could find yourself working in medicine, creating anatomical models for education or surgery planning, or in engineering, developing 3D visualizations for complex mechanical systems. The architecture industry is also a huge employer of 3D artists, creating detailed visualizations that help bring blueprints to life. In the military, 3D artists contribute to creating training simulations that help soldiers prepare for real-life situations. These realistic simulations are crucial for practicing maneuvers and understanding environments before ever stepping into the field. Over time, 3D artists might specialize in a particular area, like character modeling, environment creation, or animation, or grow into a lead artist role where they manage a team of creatives. Some might also become technical artists, focusing on bridging the gap between the art and the technical aspects of game engines, VFX pipelines, or other specialized industries. If you're ambitious, you might even become an art director, overseeing entire projects. The pay, money, it's an important factor. How much can you expect to make as a 3D artist? Well, it depends. In the early stages, 3D artists make anywhere from $40,000 to $60,000 a year. With more experience, senior artists can pull in $80,000 to $100,000. And specialized roles like technical directors or art directors can make even more. Freelancers have more variability, but the pay can be lucrative if you're skilled and market savvy. You might be wondering, what's the difference between a game developer, a VFX artist, and other types of 3D artists? While all these roles involve working with 3D models and digital art, they have distinct focuses. A game developer is responsible for creating video games, which includes not only the visual aspects, but also the coding, gameplay mechanics, and user experience. 3D artists working in game development create assets like characters, environments, and props, but their work needs to be optimized for real-time rendering to ensure smooth gameplay. A VFX artist, on the other hand, works in the film and TV industry to create effects that are too difficult or impossible to capture in real life. This can include explosions, magical spells, or adding CGI elements into live-action scenes. Unlike game assets, VFX work doesn't need to run in real time, so artists have more freedom to add incredible detail. Finally, the term 3D artist is a broader one that can encompass both game developers and VFX artists. They create models, animations, and visualizations for a wide range of industries, from games and movies to architecture and product design. Depending on the industry, 3D artists may need to adapt their skills to fit specific technical requirements, like real-time optimization for games or photorealism for movies. At the end of the day, 3D art is both challenging and rewarding. There's a lot of problem solving involved. You'll spend as much time fixing weird glitches as you do actually making art. And sometimes, those glitches are hilarious. Like when your character's face looks like a melted marshmallow because you forgot to apply a modifier. Yeah, it happens. But there's nothing quite like seeing your work on screen and realizing, hey, I made that. Whether you're crafting a simple chair model or an epic dragon, every project is an opportunity to create something that didn't exist before. How cool is that?